A smart home is where everything is connected and you can stay informed with your devices while simultaneously being informed. Your lighting, for instance, could be linked to your security camera and your coffee maker could turn on when you get out of bed. The Internet of Things might be a fairly useless term, but essentially, that's what's happening. Everything is connected, meaning that information can be shared and your life can be controlled without the need to visit each thing individually. With these devices connected to the Internet over a single network, it's possible to control them all with automated systems. Nonetheless, there is one problem. Various companies develop all these different products, so you need a common language. In order for them all to talk to each other, which will allow you to control all these devices simultaneously from one interface. That is where Zigbee kicks in. What is Zigbee? Zigbee operates wirelessly with IEEE's 802.15.4 personal area network standard and if that sounds Greek, then an alternative approach might benefit you. Let us consider the way wireless and Bluetooth devices interact wirelessly. Zigbee basically allows devices to communicate in the same way. This standardized wireless communication protocol has been around for more than a decade and it's widely used for low-power devices such as your smart home sensors that don't need a whole lot of bandwidth. Suppose you have a Zigbee-enabled light bulb and a Zigbee-enabled light switch and you want your smart switch to control your light bulb. With Zigbee, the two devices speak the same language so there is no communication barrier. With Zigbee, you don't need point-to-point -point communication as Bluetooth does. Zigbee operates as a new network which is why it's great for smart homes. How does Zigbee work? Devices made with Zigbee use the 2.4 GHz standard frequency to communicate. There are three types of device roles in Zigbee network. Coordinator An administrator is essential for every network. That is the coordinator on the Zigbee network. Each network needs one coordinator. The coordinator normally takes up the role of a hub of that kind, like the Philips Hue Bridge, Homey, or any other. It is not necessary for your coordinator to have a smart hub, although it is preferred as it is the most powerful setup. With the coordinator, you can set permissions, allow user access, coordinate your personal area network, and link your devices with the web and apps. If you rely on a hub, the coordinator is also where you link your devices to the web and apps. And hubs like Homey link your Zigbee devices to other gadgets that use other protocols like Wi-Fi, Infrared, or Z-Wave. Router Both full-function devices that are powered and serve as routers to repeat the Zigbee signal. Routers communicate with the other network equipment and repeat the network signal. It's similar to playing telephone, except Zigbee is very good at it. As long as the machines can hear each other, the message would be perfectly transmitted. End device you can buy a limited function or battery-powered end device to operate as an end device. It is not a repeater or forwarder of signals. It is important to note that end devices or reduced function devices do not talk to each other. They only talk to repeaters and coordinators. In most cases, everyone uses full function devices, but there is an exception of battery-powered products such as wireless lights or simple switches. How can you use Zigbee? More than 400 companies nowadays are registered to the Zigbee Alliance. Today, there are more than 2,500 Zigbee wireless devices. Many of the industry's biggest names are currently partner brands for the system. With that said, here are some devices that support the Zigbee protocol. Samsung SmartThings, Philips Hue, Hive Active Heating and Accessories, Amazon Echo Plus and Echo Show, Yale Smart Locks, Honeywell Thermostats, Bosch Security Systems, IKEA Trap Free, Belkin Wemo. Therefore, the hub will scan your network for all Zigbee devices. This will save you the hassle of setting up each device individually. It also lets you remotely control the devices using a single central app. Hopefully our video was informative enough to clear all the queries you have on Zigbee and how it works. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment, and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. 
subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.